I'll give it a try. <laughs> this turned out very good. All right, I'll give it a try. <laughs> this turned Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we went into the old schoolhouse, fought a very difficult boss, and now we're out here. And investigation. And dragon vision as a reward. And I've got another bonding point if I want. And I do. Now then, let me look at that. Automatically analyzes defeated enemies. Okay. Interesting. I could go hang out with Elliot or Laura. Hmm. Go spend some time with Laura. You're not Laura. You're Monica. Went well, off to the training hall. Okay. I figured she'd be in the pool. Sparring partner? Okay. She was that was still rather impressive. Okay. Make some good points. Okay, I can't go straight to the pawn shop, which is a little disappointing, but I can do that in the morning. I can... Oh, you're headed back to Reen? I can do that whenever I get a free day. Yeah. You all on your way back then? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit bush today. I figured it was about time to return to the dorms, too. <sighs> to be honest, I was hoping to get some more studying in, but since everyone else was going back... <laughs> Good old peer pressure. Not all peer pressure is bad. You can pressure your friend, your peers into doing good things. Oh, aren't Laura and Fee with you? I'm afraid not. We looked for them, but they were nowhere to be found. <laughs> They're old enough to find their own way back. I True. guess you're right, but it's a shame we couldn't all go back together. Reen? Huh? 
Hmm. Elise! What are you doing here? Uh, who is that girl? Isn't that uniform... Elise? When did you... What? I is that your sister? The one and only. Well, what are you doing here, Elise? And this late in the day, too. Look deep in your heart and you'll find your answer. What? The letter. You're very... Elegant. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. I'm Elise, Reen's sister. I apologize for cutting in, but would it be possible for me to borrow him for a while? Well, is she gonna be a student of class nine now? Class nine. Class seven, you freaking dolt. It's been a while, huh? Must be six months since I saw you? Seven? Yeah. The last time I saw you was when I came back to Ymir at the end of last year. But I always thought we'd have a chance to meet up after you enrolled here. What? I'm sorry. I wanted to meet you out here too, it's just... I've been so busy lately. Besides, it's not easy to get permission to leave St. Astraea's campus, is it? That's entirely beside the point. That's kind of a good point. Heimdall is just 30 minutes from Trista by train. True. Add 20 more minutes travel time to get from Central Station to my school. But I suppose you're so tied up that even 50 minutes is too much time to spare for a little visit. What the hell? I'm sorry. I really am. I kept being hit with classwork, exams, field studies. But you're right. A lot of busy work, too. I probably could have made time if I'd made that a priority. It's just that... Yes? Well... It's just that when I saw you last year, you seemed kind of... distant. I thought maybe you'd started to find me a bother, so I figured it'd be best to just stay out of your way, I guess. I was never distant! Maybe it seemed that way because... Well, it's kind of a personal thing. I'd rather not talk about it. If something's bothering you, you know you can always tell me about it. it. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that I've never thought of you as a bother, ever. And I swear on Adios's name that I never will. R really? I'm happy to hear that. All right, then. I'm going to clear up some time to come to the capital and see you. Promise. And you're always welcome to come visit me here, too. R really? <coughs> I'm glad to hear it. After growing up together, you are the last person I'd want to feel distant from. Yeah, I was gonna say something. If it's only an hour away for you, Rain to visit, that means it's only an hour away for you to visit. <laughs> You're right. So, is that what you came all the way out here to talk about? Seems a little overbearing just for that. Well, our lack of communication has definitely been on my mind. But that's not the main reason I came here today. Do you really not know why I came? Afraid not. Should I? Oh, that's the last letter I sent to you, isn't it? Oh, did you come for the souvenir I got you on our trip to the Nord Highlands? I found this cute accessory there that I figured you'd like. You did? Wait, no, that's not why I came either. <laughs> the issue here is the final part of your letter. It's possible that after I graduate, I'll join the army. Even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live. I really want to repay Mom and Dad for all they've done for me, so I'd appreciate your help with that at some point. I'm looking forward to catching up with you. Hope you're doing well. Rain Schwarzer. Why are you be against him joining the military? He's his own man. Ah, that. What did you mean by, even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live? Or by wanting to repay mother and father. You make it sound as though you intend to sever ties with them. You can't honestly be thinking that you're going to quietly bow out of succeeding father as head of the family. Are you, Reen? That's exactly what I'm thinking. I have no intention of becoming the head of the family or the next Baron Schwarzer. <gasps> 
What's so surprising about that? I was adopted. I wasn't born into a nobleman's life. The best thing would be for you to marry a good man and have him succeed Dad as Baron. That doesn't even make sense! You might not be related to us by blood, but you're still father's only son! Oh! She's the daughter, the biological daughter of Baron Schwarzer. And the right of adopted children to succeed their family name is recognized under imperial law. That doesn't mean that the people will recognize him as a Baron. Yeah, if the adopted child is of noble blood. At least that's how it's gone in most cases. And I'm not. Oh. What am I? Some abandoned kid that Dad found buried in a blizzard 12 years ago. I couldn't even remember where I was from, or life before that. Just my name. And when he chose to take me in as his son, Dad became the hot topic of high society. People called him eccentric, crazy. Some of them even accused him of being unfaithful to Mom. One even asked him to his face if he intended to open wide the gates of the nobility to some low-born bastard. At some point, he got tired of dealing with all of it. He started to avoid leaving Ymir. And eventually, he stopped showing his face at all among the nobility. Except on rare occasions. This game deals with some pretty heavy stuff. I've caused a lot of trouble for a family. And I really don't want to cause any more than I already have. I doubt I'll be able to leave the Schwarzer name behind, but at the very least, I want you and Mom and Dad to have the respect you deserve with your peers. After all, you'll be 16 next year, making your debut into high society. <laughs> so he's only a year old. So Reen Schwarzer... Uh, Reen's only a year older than Elise. I know it might seem extreme to you, but try to understand how I feel. I'll still visit Ymir. It's not like I want to just walk out of your lives altogether. That's not it. I mean, Mom and Dad have always looked out for me, and that's a debt I'll never... You don't get it. What? You don't get it at all. You don't understand how Father feels. You don't understand how Mother feels. And you don't understand how I feel. Elise? <laughs> You're the worst! Why do you always have to be so stubborn? I hate you! I hate you! No, you don't. Please. Well, what are you doing just standing there? W what are you... Yeah, seriously, uh, personal business, mind you. Look, I'm sorry we might have overheard you, but that's beside the point right now. No, that's kind of the point right now. Were you, were you people seriously snooping on a private conversation? Don't just stand there. Go after her. She was crying. <sighs> I know this isn't a simple problem, but you can't just leave things like they are. She needs you. Indeed. You have a duty to her as family. Okay. I will. If you see her around, let her know I'm looking for her. We will. So get going! <laughs> You've got a slap or two coming when you do find her, I'd wager. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eusis. or anywhere. I need to start looking around the entire campus. Okay, so she's not in the school building. She must be somewhere on the campus. She's in the student union building. She's probably with Toa. Next floor, she, oh, there's Machius. Oh, she might be in the damn noble's room. Nope, she's with Toa. 
and Angelica. Oh no, that's Toa and Angelica. Okay, can you seriously not think about hitting on the guy's sister right now? Gymnasium. Hiding over here, looking for a bit of privacy. No, that's just fee. Not here either. That you know of. Zephyr took me in. I was alone too. I never knew my real parents. So I understood. At least a bit. She was taken in by the Jaegers. That's why she, even as, a, as young as she is, she was in the Jaeger Corps. Yeah. Get to learn more about her. She's in Trista. Oh, it's the pudgy girl. <laughs> yeah, she likes that noble kid. I can't find her anywhere. It feels like she wouldn't have left the academy grounds, though. Yo, Reen, what's up? Crow. Crow? I'm just looking for someone. A classmate? Or did some second year sweetheart confess to you and you botched things up? <laughs> Actually, it's my younger sister. She's not a student here, though. Oh, you have a sister? Honestly, I always kind of got that only child vibe from you. Well... I guess that must be who that girl I saw earlier was then. Long black hair, St. Astraya Academy uniform, tear-stained cheeks. That has to be her! Where did you last see her? She was talking with one of those upper crust boys in white, out on that path behind the school. That stuck up first year. What's his name? High arms, I think. God damn it! Don't you dare start acting like you're above me, Reen Schwarzer. Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. 
with him. Path behind the school. Don't make me kick this guy's ass again. I'll do it. I'll kick his ass, but don't make me. He's the worst. Why does he never think about what would make him happy? I'm such an idiot. Why can't I just be more honest with him? And with myself. Who might you be? God damn it all. That's the uniform of Heimdall's St. Astraea Girls' School, if I'm not mistaken. What brings a lady like yourself all the way out here? <laughs> I I'm sorry, I... No, no, I, I apologize. I, I wasn't accusing you of anything. I... Wait, right, I, I, I should introduce myself first. At least you're being kind to her. My name is Patrick. Patrick Hyams. I'm sure you've heard the name before. Oh, fuck you. Hyams? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Baron Schwarzer. Ah, Elise. Such a lovely sounding name. Wait a second. Schwarzer? Uh, as in, Reen Schwarzer? Are you his sister? Yes? Reen is my elder brother. Ugh. Why does she have to be related to that Cretan? But wait, he was adopted. That means they aren't related by blood. It seems you're not on the best of terms with my brother. I don't wish to cause you any unpleasantness, so I'll just excuse myself. Good on you. No, no, you aren't. I, I mean... Wait! That way... Oh, no, 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 no. Not the old schoolhouse. God damn it. You said you saw her behind the old schoolhouse. Hmm. Oh, right. Come on. I'll show you where I saw her. Please tell me I'm not going to pair up with Crow and... I don't want to mind Crow so much, but High Arms I would definitely have a problem with. Damn. Where could she have scurried off to? The old schoolhouse is usually locked, so I don't think she could have gone in there. Patrick! You. Where's Elise? You better not have tried to pick a fight with her and scared her off. I I did no such thing. I, I just happened to see her crying, so I approached her to see what was wrong. Then when she took off running this way, I, I followed her out of gentlemanly concern. Okay. <sighs> Looks like she definitely came through here, though. It doesn't... Patrick doesn't seem like the type of person who would lie, though. You think she could have gone into that old schoolhouse you guys poke around in every month? Couldn't be. We locked it after we finished up in there earlier. Unless she picked the lock. I mean, Fee goes in there. God damn it. Huh. This place. The door wasn't locked. The cat. Celine. A cat? What 
is this? Billy, stay put. It looks like some kind of machine, and yet... Where's that cat I saw earlier? I don't see anywhere it could have hidden itself. Oh, it looks like there's something written here. Elevator. I must have descended pretty far underground. The door. I gotta go to the fourth area and open the door. What's this? A red door? Seems awfully huge. Maybe it leads to somewhere important? Fourth lock released. Initialization complete. <gasps> Potential awakener waveform confirmed within 50 arch. Commencing first trial. A machine? A titan? Elise! Where are you? Hmm. No sign of her. <sighs> Why do I have to? <laughs> Police scream? It came from farther inside. So yeah, Patrick is gonna be in my party. Okay. I can manage this. It came from below. What is this place? It's none of your fucking wow. business, Patrick! This is what it looks like down here now? Going down, huh? All right then, Patty Cakes. Time to lock and load. D don't call me that. Get on the fucking elevator! Jesus Christ! We do not have time for you to be a little pump. Get on the. There you go. On the elevator. We're going down. We're gonna figure out what's going on. <gasps> what the hell is that? A giant suit of armor? <coughs> oh, I'm gonna destroy this thing. Elise! Getting back to that. Okay, what the hell's going on? He's resonating some kind of power. His hair just turned silver. He's going Super Saiyan. What the? It's just oh, I got a lot of health. Now. 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 There. Now. 
there. I, I don't. I don't know what's going on now. Now. Fall the ruin. Wicked flame. Yeah. Friends, what's happening? Is he trying to suppress his power? That would be correct. <clears throat> no, not going to be. Swallowed by it any more. He's got some kind of power. <sighs> He's gonna have to learn how to control it. I don't have a chance of beating that thing, but I have to try anyway. To take back myself, and take back what I lost that winter's day. His heart. Okay, Crow's got a gun. What? He's got You're two guns. You're not thinking of leaving me out of the action, are you? Take care of the girl, catastrophe. Catastrophe. <laughs> Don't call me that either. <laughs> Can you take this serious for five minutes, Crow? Please. Thanks. I owe you one. No problem. Let's fire up those combat links. He's got da a Darren, one's a Derringer style. Oh, and he's got an S break. Boo. <laughs> Come at me. Go. Cross Raven. Yeah, you're done. done. <laughs> See ya. Here we go. Uh, go. All right. My turn. <laughs> you picked the wrong guy to mess with. That's always fun. Oh, I'm, I'm still recording. I'll deal with it later. 
Mainly because I don't have 30 gallons of, pur of purified water to put in it. <sighs> Damn. I thought I'd finished my crash course in craziness half a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Krull. So you can use Arcus too? Yeah, I was part of the trial program for Class 7. That's how I met Toa, George, and Jellica. I see. Reen! Police! Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Pre-order Pokemon Shield. I will cover that on my channel. I'm playing Pokemon Shield. Copyright be damned. YouTube, you can have whatever money you get off my channel. I'm playing Pokemon Shield. Uh, I'm fine. I just lost my balance when that tremor hit earlier. But thank you for protecting me. Just like you did back then. No, this time was different, wasn't it? I... Yeah. I pulled through. Somehow. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh. Here comes the cleanup crew. Sarah's here. Rain, are you alright? Is your sister... Oh, good. It looks like she's okay. What happened here? A giant suit of armor? It looks like something imbued with the magic of the Dark Ages. I can't begin to imagine what must have transpired here. Well, a tough fight did, at least. Thank you, Fee. You're all here. Ugh, good grief. I'm so relieved you were able to find your sister and that everyone's okay. You are a very sweet girl, Toa. She's even more of a beauty than I'd imagined. Angelica, back off. Oh, I'd love to get some hands-on time with that door in this suit of armor. Yeah, I figured you would, Georgie. I swear, it's almost comforting how you guys never change. <laughs> but hey, what took you, Instructor? Sorry about that. <laughs> Still, it looks like you guys managed to handle things just fine without me. I take it this big lug came from inside that door? Yes, I was just looking at it when suddenly... Hold on. Let's just give our report starting from the top. That cat. What is with this cat? And the radio show. Good evening, I'm your host, Misty. You're listening to Radio Trista. It's July 18th and things are finally cooling down now at 9 p.m. Hey, that's my parents' wedding anniversary. So pour yourself a cold drink and let's roll right into tonight's oven time, shall we? It's just over a week until Heimdall kicks off its summer festival, a month after the rest of the country. I'm sure plenty of you out there might be thinking of the concert in the Heimdall Opera House or the summer races. But the festival is best known for its opening day events, traditionally attended by members of the Imperial family. This year, Crown Prince Cedric will be making an appearance at the ceremony in Heimdall Cathedral. And his sister, Princess Alfin, will be attending a posh garden party sponsored by Heimdall City Hall. I would have loved to see the Empire's two greatest treasures in person, but alas, I can't get away from work that day. There's a fall festival in my town every... around, Oct around October. End of October. I like going to it, but I hate dealing with it, because I have to work that week. I usually work that weekend, so it's a little annoying to go around all the frickin' traffic stops. But don't you worry. I'm still planning on winning my bets on the summer races. I'll let you know how I do. If you're not old enough to place a bet, don't worry. You'll be able to make questionable financial decisions soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> 
moving along. I'm sure by now many of you have heard about the ongoing construction of the giant building in Crossbell State. If you're gonna bet on races, don't bet a lot. Just bet whatever spare cash you have. Don't put yourself in a tight financial situation. It's supposed to be even taller than the Rhineford building in Ruhr, making it the continent's first true skyscraper. The latest reports say that construction is almost complete and that it'll be unveiled at next month's trade conference. Ooh. A lot of you have been writing in about it, so I'll be sure to keep you posted with all the latest. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I, I guess, go to another field exam. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.